Happy Friday, everyone! We're back again with a bubbly live activity today. We're going to take a trip through the ocean and meet a few really bubbly, cheerful creatures that are going to swim into the ocean with us. And as always, we're going to have a lovely artist join us on the live session today and we are just gonna wait for a minute for them to come on board with us so we're live on facebook and instagram both today so i'm gonna hold this up so that they can see it and yes we wanted to thank you all for participating in the finger painting session last time we saw some lovely creatives coming in from the kids and it was absolutely wonderful to see them so we're just gonna hang around here for a minute to see if um, our guest is gonna join us. So in the meantime, how's everybody's week been so far? Is it raining where you are? Is it a lot of sunshine? How's it going? You tell me. So thank you Manali for joining. I'm just going to keep adjusting some of these things and keep them ready um, while we wait for our blogger. For those of you who are doing the activity with us today and you don't know what materials we're using, we are going to be doing some bubble painting. Um, when I do bubble painting, I like to use a lot of liquid soap. So um, I prefer the dishwashing soap. So I have a bit of liquid dishwashing soap with me. I have some containers that I'm going to use to pour that out in and I'm going to use uh, paper of course and I'm going to use uh, straws to blow the bubbles in. We need water. It's going to be a bit messy as you can see I was doing a little bit of trial so I've got some paint on my hands already right now. Um, so we are just waiting for our friend to join us and just give her about a minute okay so in the meanwhile like i said we can keep gathering up our materials we need paper we need ink um we need a pen to draw with as well and we're going to need some other materials as well you can use some googly eyes if you want to stick for your creatures that would be nice a nice little addition to the activity as well we are going to um, draw some aquatic creatures on ours but if you want to use something else you can do that as well There we go. All right. So we are just waiting for our blogger to join us. And then we are going to go ahead and get started on the super fun activity. I'm sure a lot of you all have tried bubble painting before. So if you're watching and you want to tell me what kind of materials do you like to use? Do you like to use ink? Do you like to use paint? Do you like to use food color? Um, what kind of materials do you all like to use? All right, I know the comments are a little slow coming in, so we are just going to hang around over here um, and wait for our friends to join us. And we, of course, um, hi, hi, nice to see you, mommy on toes. You use food color. Okay, perfect. Yes, I think food color is a great idea too. I love how bright the um, colors come out with food colors. So it's important that um, you use some materials that are safe for kids as well. And um, yeah, so food color works out perfect that way because you know, um, you don't have to be too worried around colors. Paints, poster colors, that's good. Puffy paints, that's interesting. I have never tried bubble painting with with puffy paints so that's very very interesting so guys just give me one more second I'm gonna see if um, our 
guest has joined us and unfortunately i don't see her in the list right now so i'm just gonna have to wait for a few minutes can you use watercolors yes yes you can use watercolors depending on the medium that you're using the proportion of the paint versus the water uh, varies a little bit so you may have to experiment around with that a little bit so we have over here one sheet of paper that we want to actually make our scenery on today but we also have is some rough pieces of paper that we can do some practice on as well so um, if you want to keep some of that stuff handy you could certainly do that as well what is this live about Sonia we're going to do some bubble painting today and we're going to create a lovely scenery a lovely aqua scenery with the bubble painting so that's what we're gonna do and um, we are just gonna have fun being creative as I said we are going to do uh, aquatic scene but if you want to do something else just do something that makes you happy explore your imagination and create whatever you feel like creating so that's all um, that's all you, you can do whatever you want and I'm sorry, but we're just going to hang around here for a few more minutes um, waiting for our blogger to come in. And um, it would be awesome if we can get started in just a few minutes. So thank you for hanging out with us. With paints, I know you need to use a lot less water and a lot more paint. With food color, I think the proportions um, come out really well. So watercolors, exactly. Watercolors, paints, you may need to use a lot more of the paint and the dilution with the water can be a lot lesser. But yeah, I mean, that's it's all about experimentation and how dark an impression you want and how are we going to manage that. Okay, so just give me one second live in just a few minutes for those of you who are following us on facebook i'm really sorry but you're not going to be able to see our lovely see blogger our lovely and hello. Hello. hello 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 how are you how are you thank you I am so sorry, am but the so connection sorry. is just giving us a little bit of trouble, and I'm not able I'm not to able hear you. Hear you. Okay. okay. Now I think I can hear now you. Now there's an echo. Can, 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 can you hear me now? Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I can hear you, but there's an echo. Can you as well? So I think. As well. So I. Can you hear me now? This. Okay, so I'm gonna have somebody gonna, on my team somebody call you because you? I that I can hear that my I step. can hear my step. There's an echo. Hi. 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 <laughs> yes, I know you're excited about the activity, and I'm really hoping that we can get this all we sorted out. We can get this all sorted out. Okay. Do you have two devices? Do you have two devices? Do you have two devices? Hello. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're just going to um, go back in and see if we can join again with her. Just give us one minute. And hopefully Bhavna is going to be coming on live with us again. Hi, Bhavna. Hello. Perfect. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Awesome. So good to see you. How are you today? We're good. We're good. We're excited. We're excited. You're excited. How nice. <laughs> How nice, how nice. And I love the little banner that you have behind you. It looks so festive and fun. <laughs> Was there some, a celebration? Some excitement for uh, the quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I think that the, the time does... Uh, it's just a very different time for all of us. And I think it's nice to be able to do happy things around our homes and our rooms to be able to maintain yes. the tranquil atmosphere. Yes. yes, okay. I love that smile and that excitement. You know what? Do you know? 
activity be sure to have some wipes around that you can use to clean up your hands your tables whatever you need to um we like i said will use some practice sheets of paper as well as uh, the final one so whenever you make a new color if you want to just test that out using some practice sheets keep some practice sheets around you as well we're going to use some um little bowls to make the color in we are going to try to show you a few different mediums to do the bubble painting with so i have some food color with me and i have some ink with me that i'm going to try this with pavna what material are you using today food colors food colors okay wonderful and i see lots of different colors over there so that looks exciting that looks nice and i'm going to be food using color. some liquid soap um to make the bubbles yeah. i have some uh, hand wash as well okay yes and i have some of that as well exactly perfect so for those of you who are doing this with us i hope you have some of these materials as well we have some straws as well to blow the bubbles with yes yeah so i think we're all set i think we're all set to go ahead and get started okay very nice so i'm going <laughs> to over my instagram camera so that you guys can see the table so you may not be able to see me but of course you'll be able to hear me all right so let's go ahead and switch and there we go all right so that is what the table looks like here we go there's a paper all right before we get to the paper let us just um uh, make some of the stuff that we need to make so i have a little empty container over here and i thought i would make a little ocean scene so i'm going to start off with some blue and just put like a whole bunch of blue in the background of my paper yes do you like aquatic creatures atharva yes do you like fishes um, yes Can you say anything? Yes. Yes. And fish so favorite. Fish is our favorite. Okay, wonderful. That's blue, lovely blue, to hear. Blue. Okay. So I'm going to use blue and firstly what I'm going to do in this cup is I'm going to add some ink. So I'm going to do my first one with ink. So if you're using ink you're going to need a lot of ink and you can go ahead and add as much as you want i mean i'm adding like about four dropper fulls over here um if you're using an actual count for the dropper that's probably somewhere around 15 to 20 drops i know that with the um food color it's a little bit better so you could certainly do that as well and yeah if you have the color out already we can go ahead and add some soap so i'm going to go ahead and add some soap i've already diluted this a little bit so if you've not diluted it you can just add a few drops and if you diluted it then you can add a little less and of course we add some water so i generally like to fill the container a little less so that i have enough space i'm going to fill it just like somewhere a little less than half way full so just a little less than half way full and then i'm going to take my straw and mix it around are you mixing as far as mama mixing for you can you mix it can you mix it a little bit yes make sure you mix it nice and good nice and good All right, so we've mixed it nice and good, and it looks like a lovely, lovely blue color to me. Do you have a favorite color, Atharva? What's your favorite? Blue. Blue. Okay, how nice. That's why we're starting with blue. You know, I knew that blue was your favorite color. <laughs> okay, so are we ready to blow some bubbles? Yes. Keep your paper handy if you want. So blow your bubbles, and as soon as they come up, you can go ahead and. um use the paper so just one second yep. 
All right, that looks like a lot of lovely bubbles to me, and I'm just going to go oh. ahead and dab my paper right on top of that. And ta-da! That turned out quite all right. That turned out nice and fun. Oh. It looks like there's a lot of oceans. There's a lot of bubbles in my ocean. All right. Well, thank you for everybody who's waving to us. Hello to you as well. How's our audience on Facebook doing? Anybody sending in comments? No. All right. Okay. So we see a lot of bubbles going on at Atharva's end as well. This is so much fun. Yes, it is. Absolutely. It is so much fun. It's like messy, super fun. All right. Yay. I think the feed is a little bit muddled up, but I can see, I can see some blue on your paper. Are you happy with your color? Are you happy with the blue? Is it, is it the kind of shade you want? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so if you're happy with your color, then what we're going to do is we're going to take a slightly bigger sheet of paper. So I have almost like an A4 sized paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep making bubbles and keep uh, putting more and more of this on my whole paper because I'm going to make a whole ocean with it. Okay. So this step's going to take a little while because we're just going to keep doing it again and again. So I have one little one. I'm going to keep doing it. You got the big paper? You got the big paper? Yeah, so just, it doesn't matter where you're adding it. Just keep adding more. Yeah, you gotta be, you, you can make bubbles as big as you want. So I'm trying to make them as big as I want. Yeah, so that's how our ocean comes together. Ooh, look at that. I do the bubble. I do it. You're gonna do the bubble? Oh no! Yes. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's fun to do the bubbles. I remember going to the beach. Now, of course, we can't do that right now. And just loving to blow bubbles into the air. Look at how big that got. Oopsies, okay. The bubbles are dripping all over the ocean. That's why we say this is a messy activity. But that's fine. Sometimes it's nice to be a little messy, right? Bubbles is, yeah, it's always fun. But it's nice to be fun and active and messy. This is one of those activities that gets a little crazy sometimes. Okay. So this is going to take us a few minutes. All right. Yeah, keep doing that. Keep filling up your ocean. Keep filling up your ocean. Oceans are huge, right? Oceans are like these huge water bodies that are... Do you know how much of the land is... How much of the earth is land and how much of the earth is um, water? Do you know this? Do you know? On earth, how much is land and how much is water? Yes, bubbles are always fun. Thank you. Yes, messy uh! is magic. Growing again with your child. Thank you for sharing this. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you say it again, please? He says Earth is the planet. Yeah, that's true. That is very, very true. It is exactly. It's exactly like that. And because we want to fill up this whole ocean. Has, the Earth has its own satellite. <laughs> Earth has its own satellite, really? Wow. You seem to know a lot about space. How did you come to know that? How did you yeah, come to know that? The solar system. Solar system. Right ah. Well, that's fantastic. And Sanskar tells us that there's 70% of the earth is actually water. And that's true. That's very true indeed. Atharva knows so many facts. Yes, he does indeed. He does indeed. 
And we are just finding out about all these facts that Atharva knows, and that is so much fun because we get to. I have. <laughs> So we get to spend time with him right now and learn so much about him. And thank you for that big thumbs up, Mum and her tiny tribe. For all you guys who are, who are like listening to our bubbles go bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. I hope you're having fun because it's fun. <laughs> Some sounds are also so comforting, right? So I like how comforting just the sounds of bubbles are as well sometimes. So it's fun to be able to just hear that bubbling sound. Bubbles! Bubbles! Bubbles, yes! Imagine if you were to count how many bubbles you've actually made today. Do you think you can actually count how many bubbles you've made today? It would be crazy to count that, no? Nah? It would be absolutely crazy to count that. <laughs> it's like a contest. Who's going to fill up the sheet first? I think that Atharva is going to do it first. I think Atharva is going to fill up his entire ocean first. As you can see, I'm kind of halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway done with mine. I did it. You did it? How nice. How very, very nice. That's so cool. I still have... Here, get some sunlight. Some sunlight? Is that what she said? What did she say? Air, air gets energy from the sunlight. Sun. Okay, is that is that something about the sunlight reaching the earth? Yeah, maybe. Earth gets the energy from the sun. Oh, we get the energy from the sun. That is true. We get so much energy. Like the sun, sun is, like the sun is a big ball of fire. Yeah, the sun is the big ball of fire. That's very true. The sun is this huge ball of fire and we all get all our energy from it. And so do the plants, right? That's how the plants grow. The plants need the sunlight, the energy from the sun to grow. Cool. All right, so Parvam says, good job, Atharva. Yes, he's doing a lovely job indeed. And I love how he is not only doing all his bubbles so well, but he's also teaching us about all these cool things. So ah! that's the fun. <laughs> oh, wow, look at all the blue bubbles coming in on that sheet. That's awesome. It's awesome that you're getting all these blue bubbles on the sheet, Atharva. I hope you're having fun with it because that's what it's all about, right? Yes. Yes, Atharva knows so many fun facts. Everybody's been telling us how Atharva knows all these things. to the sun is Mercury. Wow, you know so much about the solar system. That's great. Yeah, the sun is really close to Mercury. The sun is really close to Mercury. That's very true. And you know, do you know which planet comes after that? Venus. Venus. The brightest one. Okay. All right. Very nice. Also, the Earth is the planet. <laughs> okay. All right. And after also Venus, what after Venus? The moon. And what? What? What's after Venus? Who comes after Venus? It has a one moon, and Mars has two moons. What is after Venus? No. After Venus, Earth. Earth. Oh. One moon. One moon. And yes. Mars has two moons. Okay. All right. So, so we had Mercury. Then you have to correct me if I go wrong. Okay. So we had That's... Sun. Then okay. we had we... Mercury. Now correct? comes largest planet, Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet. Are you sure? Yes. I have seventy-nine sure? moons. <laughs> Wow! Oh my goodness! Look at that fascination. That it is, is a gas giant. <laughs> it is a gas giant. Yes, that's true indeed. Very good, Atharva. I am super impressed with all this knowledge. 
um and and which is the other rich can serve them yes exactly <laughs> and and is saturn the one with the rings or is jupiter the one with the rings jupiter has the long red spot okay i should ask him which has rings saturn or jupiter saturn okay very nice is there any other planet that has rings uranus Okay, all right. <laughs> Fantastic. It was the other gesture, other as giant. Come on. and they go round and round right and when when they they, planets, they, they all take numbers and when 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 the planet finishes one circle around the sun they take they stay they 224 days they take 365 days they yes. take 180 some days Also, the answer between Mars and Jupiter. <laughs> yes, this is amazing. So Paru says that he is our little astronaut. Jupiter, I think he really Jupiter, is. Jupiter is the sixth planet. Jupiter is the seventh planet. Absolutely amazing. So, Athirva, do you actually want to go into outer space when you grow up? Do you want to become an astronaut? You want to become an astronaut? No, no. He's scared of heights. <laughs> do you know what you want to become when you grow up? Do you know what you want to become? What do you want to become? No, but you want to I'm become. Four years. Yeah, you're four, you're four years. years. <laughs> yes, that's true. It's too soon to ask you this question. I'm sorry. That's my bad. It wasn't a very good question to ask you right now. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. No, I, I think it's he's not scared of heights, so he decides not to become an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe when he's maybe when he's a little older, that might change, right, Atharva? What do you think? Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, okay. All right. I see you really enjoying that blue color. But do you think we're done with the blue now? Do you want to use some other colors and maybe make some fishes? You want to make any other colors too? Yes. The yes. First, time to do red color. First, you want to start with the red color. Okay, that sounds like a plan. So, um, let's move on to the red color then. So, we're gonna mix some red. and i'm going to use food color this time just like i thought of so i have my bowl right here actually i'm not going to keep it on my drawing i'm going to keep it aside so i'm going to keep it over here i'm going to use uh so i have powdered color this time and i'm just going to put in a little bit of that and then i thought but do you remember what happens after you put the color what else do you put inside it to get the bubbles what is After soup, I'm on green. Green or red? Red. Okay, we can we can do both. We can do green first, red. and then we can do red as well. Ah. Oh, lay! I nice the little jug of water that you have over there. Very nice. Good idea. Good idea indeed. So, and the beautiful red. dropper to yes. put the color. That's You love red, okay? All right. Also, I love red. You also love red, okay? You also love green as well, right? I also love green, and I also love blue. And you also love green, and you also love blue, and you also love red. That's so nice. You have equal love for all these colors. You are so impartial. That's very nice. Okay, mix it. Time to mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Mix it. Is it nice and mixed? What do you think? Yes. Should we mix some more, or is it okay now? Is that good? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, all right, thank you. So I'm gonna do, I have a little practice paper. I'm gonna do a bit of practice uh, bubble first and then I'm gonna put it into the ocean, okay? You wanna do a practice with me first? Yes. Yes, okay, all right. So grab a practice no. piece of paper. Don't. Okay, so there is my practice one. And ta-da! I think that turned out all right. Yeah? Do you think that turned out okay? No. No. Okay. All right. So, guys, um, whoever's watching, the, the reason why we like to do the practice one is to know whether we want to add more color or not. So if you feel like your uh, bubbles are not coming out dark enough or something like that, then this is a perfect time to go ahead and add some more color. And oh, beautiful. Look at that. That looks amazing. Good job. Good job. Oh, he's excited about the bubbles. He's excited about the bubbles. I know. It's so much fun to just, that sometimes the journey itself is so exciting that we're excited to participate in the activity without worrying about the result. And that's such a wonderful um, thing about art. And that's so wonderful that kids can focus on that more than adults sometimes can. So I love that about doing these activities uh, with the kids. <laughs> okay. So Atharva, if you're ready, um, then what we can also do is we can go ahead and apply uh, a big blob of that red somewhere on our ocean. Yeah. And that's then going to turn into one of our fishes. Okay, so go ahead and uh, make some bubbles. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the ocean paper upside down and get a set of bubbles in red, which I'm then later on going to turn into a fish. So that's what mine looks like. So go ahead and I'll give you a minute. You can take your time to do yours as well. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. That's a nice fish. What kind of fishes do you like, Atharva? I love the kind of fishes. You like fishes, Atharva? Yes. Which? Do you like fishes? Do you like jellyfishes? Do you like octopuses? Who do you like? Who do you like? Everything. Everything. Okay, how about crabs? Do you like crabs? I like crabs? Yes. Yes? Wow. That is so cool. That's awesome. Mom. Mom. Crabs? Mom. Okay. How about how about some green now? Since you said you liked green, green. color too? Yes? Green. Okay. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. Okay, very nice. Green, green, green it is. So we are going to go ahead and grab some green. I have another bowl over here that I'm going to use for the green. I'm back to using some ink um, this time. And Athar was using the food color, which is lovely. So we're just going to go ahead and follow the same process. Again, we are going to add the color. I can't, I can't the, not drink it. And then the soap. And then some water. All right, so so we have the green color coming green. up next. Yes, green. green. You already have some green. I'm going to do a quick practice shot again, okay? Mix it. Remember to mix it. Don't forget that part. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Uh, now. All right, I'm going to take this paper out again. Uh, nope, you can't see my bubbles. Now you can. Now you can. 
Ah. Oh. There we go. Okay, my cream turned out a lot lighter than I wanted it to. So that's the reason why we like to do a test shot sometimes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that's precisely the reason why we like to do some test um, shots. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some more ink to mine because I was using ink um, with this. And you can go ahead and do the same if you want as well. And for those of you doing it at home, if yours turned out right in the first go, well, that's fantastic. You are absolutely brilliant. So we have, um, we have, we have, we have my straw. Okay, I thought I lost my straw, but I have it. Okay, lots of bubbles, lots and lots of bubbles. Now you can see them. Now you can see the bubbles. And let's see if that turns out okay. Yeah, I think this time it's better. This time it's okay, right? Uh, Atharva, what do you think? Is this okay? Yes. Yes? Oh, okay. No worries. We'll grab that later. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so if you feel like you're happy with your green, okay, that's maybe because too much ink came up at the same time. Don't worry about it. it that's what bubbles do sometimes. It's, it's perfectly fine. And sometimes it's nice too because your fish can be full of green if that turns out on your paper. So that's nice as well. It's, it's, that's the fun thing about art. It's, it's all good. It's all fun um, to be able to do this at the same time. Yeah. So. I just had to keep cleaning things up a little bit because as you can see, I'm getting really messy and it's time to make a green impression on my ocean this time now. So, think about, so, so I have a blue over here. Think about where you want the green to go. So maybe somewhere, somewhere over there, maybe, I don't know. You can do it wherever you want. I'm going to, I'm going to do mine over here somewhere. Okay. So it's nice to keep that in mind. Ah, nice. Okay, good. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Wow, look at that. You are like one step ahead of me already, I think. Aren't you? Okay, I forgot where it's going. Okay, now I remember. I remember. And there we go. So you can see a little bit of green coming in. And that looks nice. I'm going to try to get that impression a little bit deeper by putting another one over there. Okay, I love making these tall towers of paint, but sometimes it's a little tricky to handle them. But that's fine. That's the fun. It's interesting to be able to try these different things. And there we go. So there's going to be my aquatic creature number two that's going to be in green color. So we have a little bit of green and we have a little bit of red. How about one more color to add? One more color, Atharva. Can you think about one more color to add to this? Orange. Orange. Okay. I think orange is a good idea. I like, I like that. I like the idea of putting orange as well. So maybe because we've already done red that's true we've already done red so maybe we can do orange next we yes. finished green and blue we finished green and blue that's true we finished green and blue so you know Atharva, I I don't don't have green have... To indigo violet. okay I don't actually have orange but I think I can get orange by mixing two colors can you think of two colors that I need to mix to get orange red. orange how do we get Red and yellow. Yes, that's true. That's perfect. Good job, Atharva. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix some yellow. Right? And I don't want to waste too much. So, you know, the, the, the red that we had made earlier, I'm going to just use yeah. some of that red and add it to my yellow. But if you're making orange by yourself, then you can just add um, it the way you want to as well. So that's fine. We're going to make our. We're going to make our own colors. 
that's that's another really fun thing about art that I love. Art. I love the fact that we can make our own colors. Isn't that so cool? Mm -hmm. Do you like to mix colors sometimes? Okay. You like to mix? Yes. 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 Yes, 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 exactly. Because it's so much fun when you can mix your own colors and you don't have to be restricted by the colors that come inside your packet. You can just mix them and make whatever you want, right? Mixing and mixing. Mixing and mixing. And I know you're mixing the soap as well. And we are going to do a quick test shot once again with this. So just give me a moment. All right, so there is my set of bubbles. And let's see if it turns out the way it wanted to. Okay, so there we go. It's a little lighter. It's more, a little bit more like yellow. Oh is it God. more like... <laughs> that was so cute. That was so cute. It's so nice how he wants to do it by himself. That's a really wonderful thing about art again. It really encourages kids to do things on their own. No, we want it to be darker. Okay, so we're yeah. gonna we're gonna make uh, I'm gonna make mine darker as well. And our third was gonna make his darker as well. Red color. So I'm gonna add more red to my yellow to make it more darker and hope that that works out. I think it should. I think it should. Yes, this is this is not good, right, Atharva? Ah! No. No. Okay. This is this is this is not okay. This is not okay. The boss says no. We gotta make we gotta make it darker. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's see if we get it right this time. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Where is my practice sheet? There we go. Okay, so it got a little bit darker. What do we think? Is it okay now? Maybe? Yes? Yes. 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 Is that good? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. I like yours. I really do like yours. That's a lovely color. That is such a beautiful color. That is amazing. Yellow. Only we have yellow. That is absolutely yellow. yellow. You want yellow or you want orange? What did you say you want? Orange is a certain yellow. Yellow. Oh. All right. So we're going to make one more impression on our um, sheet. And then we're going to go ahead and like somebody suggested in our comments earlier, we're going to use a marker to draw some stuff as well. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and put the impression here. And okay, so that turned out a little bit lighter than I expected. That's fine. Um, we, if that happens to you, you, you can do it again. Yellow. After that. I want to do yellow. You want to do yellow? Is that what you said? Okay, yes. all right. Well, you can go ahead and do a quick yellow if you want. We can do a quick yellow. We have about maybe five more minutes of painting to do, and then we got to do a little bit of drawing for five minutes, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to do this a little bit faster. Okay, go ahead and do the yellow. You can go ahead and do the yellow. You can go ahead and do the yellow. I'm going to just repeat this one more time because... Um, I think this looks kind of like the yellow to me. It looks directly like the yellow as well. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and... It's so far, I'll do it. I'm... And just... <laughs> That is so cute. That is so precious. All right. 
So one last impression to get one last sea creature in our ocean. In our upper ocean. One more sea creature, one more friend in our ocean. Ah! Right. How many drops of uh, color do we need in how much water? Okay, so I think it depends on the one that you're using. I have used two different mediums just to show you guys two different things. So I've used a little bit of um, food color, which is a powdered food color. And I have also used a little bit of uh, ink. With the ink, I used almost 20 drops. And with the powdered food color, it was just, I guess, I don't know, about half a teaspoonful of powder, maybe a little lesser would be fine as well. And Pavna, what did you use? How, how many drops of liquid did you use? Um, six, seven drops. Six, seven drops. Yeah, absolutely. So I think sometimes it depends on colors as well. The darker colors come out really nice without maybe adding too much as well. And the lighter colors sometimes need a little bit more. What do you think, Pavna? All right, so we have some of our last impressions coming in into our drawings. And then we're going to do a little bit of coloring. I mean, a little bit of drawing, actually. Okay. Okay? Is that okay? So let me know when you're ready. Let me know when you're done. Here, there it is. There, it is. Yeah, look, the one Yellow, yellow, yellow. So much yellow. Okay. So somebody asked if it's food color. Yes, it is food color that we're using. That is true. We are using food color because it's safe and it gives great impressions. And we love food color. So we are both using food color. But you can use some other stuff if you want as well. So it's up to you. It is absolutely up to you what you want to use. And yeah, I've just decided to add fishes all over this. Please use brush pens for the outlines. Okay, we will try to use brush pens for the outlines. Um, I don't know what I have actually. I don't know if I have a brush pen over here ready to use. Do I have brush pens? All right, like my green is a lot lighter, so it needs a few different impressional trials to get the color going. But the red turned out a I'll lot I'll just better. be back. Yes, of course, of course, of course. Take your time. Take your time. All right, guys, so um, Bhavna's going to take a tiny little break and come back. And I am going to... Go ahead and continue with some of the drawing because we do have a short amount of time remaining before um, Instagram is going to tell us that they are done with us. So Instagram has this thing where they um, kind of kick us out after one hour. And um, that's the reason why... I'm going to go ahead and try out um, some drawing. Okay, so Atharva is back again. Welcome back, Atharva. Thank you. You're welcome. Are we ready to draw some fishes? Thank you. Oh, he's expecting rainbow colors on the paper. Ah, rainbows. Yes, do you want to draw a rainbow or do you want to draw some fishes? What do you think? You want to make fishes on this? No, no, no. Do <laughs> you want to do bubbles? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, if you want to do bubbles, you can go ahead and do more bubbles. I'm not going to force you to draw. But because there are some people who are watching us and who did see that we started off with something like this, I'm going to draw some fishes out of the colors. Okay? So you can draw the fishes. <laughs> no, you want to do bubbles only. Okay, all right. Well, you can you can go ahead and do more bubbles if you want. That's okay. 
That's okay. We're going to turn this paper around and we're going to imagine what we see. Maybe you can help me. How about you just help me? Okay, I want to draw a fish yes. and a crab. And I want to draw maybe a jellyfish. So do you think that the red guy should be a crab maybe or a fish? What do you think? Red, you want it to be a crab or a fish? No, 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 no. Bubbles. Okay. You <laughs> okay. All right. You can come. He can do. He can continue doing the bubbles. He can continue doing the bubbles. If he's having so much fun, we shouldn't stop him. He should just. He should just keep doing more bubbles. We're gonna. We we have just about another five minutes remaining. So I'm gonna just go ahead and draw some fishes over here. So I have a little circle, and then I'm gonna add a. You can try to guess what I'm making. How about that? Can you try to guess what I'm making? What does this look like? What does it look like? What does it look like? What is it? It is a fish. It is a fish. Is it a girl fish or a boy fish? What do you think? Oh. Okay. All right. Maybe how about we turn this guy into a little crab friend for the fish. Maybe the fish has a friend and the fish has a friend who is a crab. So we can turn this guy into a crab. And a crab has, do you know what a crab has on top? It has claws. So those are like little claws for our crab. He's holding his hands up like that to wave to you and to say hi. Hi, Atharva. Hi. Hi. He's saying hi. Yes. And his eyes are popping out of his body just like that because he's saying hi yes and he has a big broad smile on his face because he's saying hi to you so let's give him a smile yeah so he's smiling and and a crab has lots of legs right does a crab have lots of legs Ooh, look at that so pretty so pretty yeah so let's give a whole bunch of legs to our mr crab yeah, lots of legs. Lots of legs. There we go. That's a nice big broad smile. And he's saying hi. He's saying hi, Atharva. Hello. Oh, look at that. So nice. I love the fish and I love the crab. Good job. Good job. <laughs> How about one more creature that we can draw? Um, let's see. I don't have too much space to make too many long legs of the jellyfish. So maybe I will just... Um, you want to do more bubbles? Okay. Why don't you just do more bubbles? How about that? You can do, you can do more bubbles. Okay. You want to do more bubbles? You can do more bubbles, okay? So this guy is going to be like my little Mr. Octopus. And he's like, oh, look who's here. Look who's here. So he's going like, oh, with his mouth big, wide, and open. Yeah. And then maybe we can add some more fishes. So let's make a green fish over here. Or maybe this one is just a little fish. There was a big fish and now we have a little fish. A big fish and a little fish. And the little fish is looking down at the crab and wondering why is this crab saying hi? Who is this crab saying hi to? Is he saying hi to me? Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Maybe not. And then what do we do with the red fellow? Maybe we make him into, uh, this is the baby fish and this is the mama fish, maybe a bigger fish. 
So let's see if we can do a different type of fish this time. So we're going to go around and about and maybe make a tail over here like that. Oopsies. And a fin on top and a fin on the bottom and an eye again. And it's a mama fish and she has some pretty eyelashes because it's a pretty little mama fish. Yes? Yes. Okay, we have a request for a turtle. Okay, um, let us see if we can squeeze in a turtle over here. I think I made so many of these bubbles that I don't have space to draw anymore. But Mr. Rabhimit, since you have requested a turtle, I shall try to do. Oh, I love those tiny fishes. Those are, those are so cute. The tiny fishes are the cutest. The cutest tiny fishes. Thank you for drawing them. Thank you for drawing them. Okay. So this guy is going to be our Mr. Turtle with some spots on his body. Yes, his shell rather. Right. And some legs. All right, so I think that's good enough for me. I think I'm fine with this. And maybe if you want, you can draw some seaweed at the bottom as well. All right. And I'm going to lift this up a little bit higher so that you can see the whole thing as well. So, Atharva, did you have fun? I know you enjoyed... I know you enjoyed the bubbles a lot more than you enjoyed the drawing part. You want to do more bubbles. Okay. All right. Well, we are going to let you go in just about a minute because um, we want you to enjoy doing more bubbles and we don't want to make you sit here and just watch us draw right now. Okay. So thank you so much for joining us, Atharva. And I just want to turn this camera high to you. And bye to you. And can you hold up what you made just so that we can... You want to do more bubbles? Okay, I know you're going to do more bubbles in just a minute. But I just wanted to say thank you to you for joining us on this wonderful live session. For teaching us so much about the solar system. And for, um, you know, just having so much fun making bubbles with us today. So let's just do a quick show and then say bye, okay? So ready? One two, three, ta-da! <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Enjoy making the bubbles. Okay, bye. 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 Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye to everybody on Instagram and Facebook who joined us. Track the post. It was, it was for a the fun session. Content. I didn't expect it to be so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I'm very glad you enjoyed it. And we, we would love to see what creative adventures everybody else is taking with the bubbles as well. So we hope you do a lot of activities throughout the week with the bubbles and keep mm -hmm. sharing those with us. Hashtag both of us, hashtag create together. All these instructions are going to be there on our Instagram posts, on our Facebook posts. So we really look forward to seeing all the lovely creative activities. And Atharva is going to make a lot more bubbles. And you, you're going to send me the pictures of the new bubbles that you make, right? Did you do that? Yes. Yes? Send me the pictures, okay? Send me the pictures of the new bubbles that you make. Okay. 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 All right. Well, thank you, everybody, and have a wonderful weekend. Have a wonderful week ahead. We look forward to seeing all your creative activities. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.